that if the black church has one problem that I think it needs to think about, it is the problem of whether it is called to save its own life, or uh, whether it's called to lose its life for the sake of others. I feel that the black church is concerned with saving its own life because it's so interested in the gospel of success. The gospel of Jesus is not a gospel of success. The gospel of Jesus is a gospel of ultimate success through failure. It's a gospel of ultimate success through obvious failure. That's why the cross is at the center of the gospel. The cross is not a gospel of success. Jesus did not succeed. He failed. But God took that failure and transformed that failure into success. Now, it's very important when you talk about ultimate success, it's not so obvious because the resurrection was not obvious. The tomb was empty, but yet nothing was there. I feel today with so much focus on building buildings and 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 all the other humongous things that we do that we fail to see that the cross is at the heart of what the black church ought to be about it was not very difficult for the black church to see that during the time in which it was born because being a slave church, that was not success. That it was obvious failure there. Now the problem, the problem is, is that the church has lost its legacy. It has lost its message. And when success becomes the focus of it, it loses its mission and it loses its message. I would like to see the church not be so concerned about its success, but much more concerned about a, a kind of success through failure and where its failure is at the, is at the heart of things. So I, I would, I would want to put my emphasis there. I, I'm concerned that the church doesn't get too concerned about his own survival. Because Jesus said, people who seek to save their life shall lose it. But if you lose your life for the sake of the least of these, then you'll find your life. All right. Y'all don't want none of this. Y'all ain't ready for this. Don't sleep on James Carr.